a four, four trillion dollar deficit deal. The move was spearheaded by Heath Shuler, Democrat from North Carolina, and Republican Mike Simpson of Idaho. Gentlemen, uh, good afternoon to both of you. Where are you getting this four trillion dollar figure? Well, the $4 trillion we've looked at, if you can look at multiple plans, uh, uh, the Gang of Six, a bipartisan group, Bull Simpson Report, Rivlin Dementi, there's ideas that's been thrown up on the table. What we have asked is we can't settle for 1.2, and we certainly can't settle for sequestration. It's unacceptable. We have an opportunity, and the time is now to get at least $4 trillion in savings over the next 10 years. Uh, Congressman uh, Simpson, as of Wednesday, I know you guys had 40 Republicans, 60 Democrats signing on. Any more takers since then? Yeah, we've had a couple other Republicans sign on, and we've got several looking at it. Uh, you know, you cannot get, uh, you cannot stabilize our debt if you don't get to the four trillion dollar level. That's what every organization, that's what every committee says. Uh, so we think that it's as a minimum they need to go to four trillion dollars. Otherwise, we're just kicking down the can down the road, and frankly, we're out of road. But how realistic is it to expect that this this so-called super committee will be able to achieve that kind of uh, deficit reduction deal when they've had so much difficulty, when so many other groups have had so much difficulty uh, in the past receiving uh, deals of 25 percent of that size. It's going to be difficult, but there are plans out there. As uh, he said, there are a number of plans, whether it's Domenici Bowles or, or uh, Rivlin and uh, or Domenici and Rivlin and, and Bowles Simpson. There are and the Gang of Six. There are a lot of plans out there, so they don't have to invent the wheel over again. They can look at some of these things, but we've got to get to four trillion dollars, and to get to four trillion dollars, everything has to be on the table, and that's really what our letter said. And New it revenue. Added that there that that there are a hundred bipartisan members that are willing to work on this. To together uh, to solve this problem. New revenue, Congressman Simpson? Yeah. New taxes. New, revenue. New taxes. You know, you can look, you can gain, you can increase revenue several different ways. Some people think it's increasing tax rates. Other people think it is lowering tax rates, expanding the base, getting rid of all the exemptions underneath, and that you're going to get more revenue from that. And some of it can go to uh, deficit reduction. That's where from, and I think that's where a majority of us are coming from. Congressman uh, Schuler yesterday, Speaker Boehner said that he was uh, pretty nervous about the super committee reaching its uh, 1.2 trillion dollar goal by November 23rd. Do you think he should be? Well, I'm, I'm certainly hope with the support of what I consider a hundred statesmen and women who have come forward and said we must go big and everything must be on the table. That takes great courage. And now we're hoping that also the leadership, uh, both in the House and the Senate, will take uh, our lead uh, along with our other uh, colleagues, uh, the gang of six in, in the Senate. Uh, with the 45 signatures that they have, that we can take this approach and say, look, we are putting everything on the table. We want to go big, and we have the support of the American people, but we also want to know, uh, have the uh, super committee to know that we have their back. We want them to go big, and we can support what they bring forward. Let's, uh, let's talk really quickly here about the uh, infrastructure portion of the president's jobs plan uh, that did not pass in the, in the Senate yesterday. Uh, gentlemen, do you think that it didn't pass because of the millionaire surtax that was attached to it, or do you think that, uh, that, 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 that there's something else behind this? Well, I, I personally think that, that you can do, you can throw as much money as you want at it. You can, you can cut taxes, you can raise taxes, you can do all the until the super committee comes out with a very robust plan that puts everything on the table and it at least gets to that $4 trillion mark. There's nothing that we can do from the economy until the American people and the whole world recognize that we together can work in a bipartisan way, in a bicameral way, that we can get something done and we can ultimately compromise and put the American people first so you don't, and not you, our so political So neither of you believes that we should even consider other piecemeal jobs creating, jobs creation measures until the super committee has spoken. Is that what I'm hearing? I think it's the most important thing that we yeah. that is pressing in front of us. We that, have to get this done. That's the biggest thing we have to do. It's the most important thing for the future of this country. You know, and no matter what the super committee comes out with, if they can get to four to six trillion dollars, it's a tough vote, and it's going to be a tough vote for everyone because there's going to be parts of it that you don't like. But that's kind of the nature of politics. I don't mind taking a tough vote, but I want my tough vote to mean something, uh, and that's what and that's what we're asking the super committee to do. Representative Shuler, Representative Simpson, uh, Congressman Shuler, if I had more time, I, I'd talk to you about the Washington Redskins. <laughs> well, hope, maybe there's always a next year, and we've been saying that for, what, 20 years now? <laughs> Since the early 90s? <laughs> Thank you both. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. The Prime Minister of Greece facing a confidence.